Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to the Portal Master Quest. We are back with another Portal 2 mod today. We are playing Weeby Data or West Ishmir Born Informatics. Um, if I got that correct, that is a mod by Top Hat Waffles. And uh, I'm actually pretty unprepared because I don't have my mod sheet up. So I can't read you the description. How unprepared am I? Uh, anyway, the uh, description says, Do you have what it takes to stop the AI from killing you before you can fix it? In this exciting DLC package for Portal 2, you will navigate detailed test chambers on your quest to stop the AI. If you make it, there is a special surprise at the end of the test. Sounds interesting. All right, so without further ado, let's jump in and start the mod. With uh, these... Uh, Crazy wacky custom cubes. Clear the wacky custom cubes. Hopefully I've got subtitles. Let me check my subtitles. Have we got subtitles on? It's in audio, isn't it? Uh, full captions are on. Dog whistles. <laughs> Why? Since when is that? Uh, okay, I'm not going to ask. Knock. Don't question it. Knock. Don't question it. Let's all go to the lobby. Hello. And welcome to the Weeby Data Offices. Wait a minute, you're not our CEO. You're the new hire, aren't you? I guess you'll have to do. Once again, our fearless leader forgot his pin to the website. I was going to reset it for him, but now I'll make you do it. Before you can begin, put one leg in front of the other, the other, the other. Hey, we killed it. I think that that's what that's. <laughs> I think that's what we should do next. We should just have a, a speed run category for Portal Two to for mods. How quickly can a mod break? <laughs> How quickly can not break a mod? <laughs> oh jeez, we're back in a minute, guys, on YouTube. Station up over in the corner by the servers. If you're smart enough to open an email client, you should be able to view the email that was received. You do know how to read, don't you? Uh, I think so. I think I know how to read. Now, if I remember, like I said, I, th I have a hunch. That I, I'm pretty sure I played this kind of before. Um, years ago on Twitch. Um, when I used to do lunchtime streams, I'm sure Aaron asked me to play it back way back when. And I I have a hunch that each of these offices is a test chamber, I think. I also think there's some Easter eggs and stuff going on here. But um, yeah, there's, there's the man himself, Mr. Top Hat Waffles. And of course, we can't forget Sly with his Gangnam style. Um, anyway, let's wall over to our computer by the servers. It's fine. Not a problem at all. I guess this is like the pin number we need to... Enter, possibly, maybe. I can't remember. Anyway, let's find some servers and let's find our desk. Bit of a random stairs there. I see some servers, they're over here. Press E on the keyboard to use your computer. Uh, Christoph, sorry to hear you forgot your pin. Uh, to do the jobs website again. This is my fourth time this month, right? Well, all of this work on absurd branding of new business cards must be extremely taxing. You've got my sympathies for real. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit, little booked right now. What with the new recruiting website, AI acting buggy, and trying to kill the applicants. Probably a maven bug. Since our legal budget was blown when your absolutely vital a giant weeby hovercube crashed into my city hall, kind of trying to nip this one in the bud. 
the manual interactive pin recovery system should be almost working. In the last test, only 92% of subjects died. In your day is, if your day is booked, putting our logo on new t-shirts or something, ask the new hire to help. Thanks, WeBIT. Okay, so we're gonna do some, something with new pin. So the person who hired you cannot even remember a four digit code. Anyway, with all the time it took you to read that email, I've been able to clean the kitchen, order new servers, prepare the first elevator, and solve world hunger. See, your shortcomings have done some good already. Maybe so, but I never claim to be the quickest of readers. And anybody who's been around for a long time will know I am terribly slow at reading. So, there. Now, I think, like I said, the... I'm sure, like, the elevators appear in offices if I'm thinking about the right thing. I mean, probably not, but we'll see. No, there we go. Look, I was right. Crazy disco textures. All right, on to test number one. Let's see how we do, shall we? It's kind of weird, though, that you go from office to kind of like the normal portal environment. Destroyed portal environment at that. Here we are. The first step to the pin reset. It's been a whole three days since I've been here. Hopefully you'll perform better than the last applicant. Just be sure to watch out for the whistle fix. They can be really mm. Seems something or someone is messing with my speech function. Probably just the CEO trying to make me sound like an Italian plumber again. Anyways, I'm sure you'll figure things out. All right, so I love the fact that we have to solve ridiculous test chambers to reset a pin number. That is so, I'll be honest, that's pretty aperture science. That's, yeah, that's aperture science through and through. Um, so, I did the wrong portal. Because I'm a doofus. Alright, so we'll send that over to there. While we're on here, that sends it up to here. And then where are we going to go? Well, I guess we could do that. Fall off. That, that works. We might also want to do that, though. Reset key. You'll need five of those to reveal the code. And for future reference, you don't need to take that long. Thanks. But, uh... Kind of a weird looking reset key. Um... Kind of get vibes of, like, the beginning of the modern sort of areas of the end of Port 2. As you enter the Wheatley Chambers. But, um... Anyway... Noxler, should we get a new emote for that? Ooh, I'm so slow. No. Because that's going to end up on a clip. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Weeby Data Offices. Oh, you again. I thought you were dead. The day is not done yet. Go put the key in the reset terminal, then start the next test. The reset terminal is over by the servers, I guess. So let's go over there. Okay. It's an actual USB. It's pretty nice. So you normally have like blocks of four. Do 
just sort of It's been a long while since I dealt with binary. But you got one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, six, four, hundred and twenty-eight, which gives you no it's a box of two hundred and fifty-six, isn't it? So you or two hundred and fifty-five. Two hundred and fifty-six can include the first zero, so yeah, no, blocks of eight. Uh sorry. Moving swiftly on. And smelt you were straight on it. That was a fun Tuesday. Alright, so what are we actually doing here, Gladys? Let's have a look. We need two cubes for the exit. Activates the faith plate so we can head on over to there. Okay, so it's fair enough. Uh, can I get the faith plate? Thank you. In the words of Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park, must go faster. Stairs back. You got here a little bit before I expected you. I managed to spread the blood off everything. I'll just keep the supplies handy for when you're done. Oh, you gotta love the you've gotta love the the names Twitch comes up with. Ha. Huh. Right, so we're going to want a cube. Let's go and fetch ourselves a cube at least. Also, we're not going to be able to use the funnel, but... I mean... I was a little bit surprised at this sort of puzzle in this, uh, in this map. So yeah, for anybody that doesn't know, um, Top Hat Waffles is quite a, I'd say quite a big person in regards to hammer mapping, and they have various guides. Um, of which I have followed multiple times before. And what am I doing here? I'm not actually sure if that was the right way to do that. But, you know what? I got the cube, so I'm going to take it. I've actually translated quite a lot of the, um, the hex codes from um, the Talos Principle Mika. And there's some quite interesting messages when you uh, start looking at things like decoding the messages. It's quite fun. Wait, I'm going to go all the way back down there just to pick up that cube. And... Yeah, we're done. I think... Well... We would have been done if I hadn't been stupid and fell down without throwing the cube.
I fear that the water right there is not uh, I've got it. I haven't got rid of... Uh, I haven't got rid. I've got it in my library. I haven't got around to playing it. Um, I've seen Deathwish play a bit of it. Uh, which will sort of um, encourage me to buy it. Uh, I've got a lot of puzzle games I need to get around to. see why you're doing this instead of our CEO. When you're ready, you can roll over to the next task. So let's reset that. And look for our next elevator. Which is here. Yeah, I've got Quern. I've got Magnetic Cage, magnetic cage Closed. Uh, I've, seriously, I've got a massive long list of puzzle games to play. But yeah, you know. I always come back to Paul. Always find new stuff to do While in Paul. Seven endings? Jeez. Still just need to move some things around Superland, I break. need to buy that, Sonny. Welcome along, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Uh, but yeah, Superland I need to buy. I really love the demo uh, of Superland. I've just not got around to uh, purchasing the full game. But um, Anna from the uh, Port Stories Mel development team, she's actually working on Superland now as well. She's uh, helping them out with the second DLC. I don't know if she had anything to do with the first DLC on it, but I know she's working on the second, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty then, that gives us cube. Just double check. Yeah, huh? Uh, yes, I've got complete. I think I've got complete playthroughs of all three games on my channel. Uh, absolutely love the room. It's quite interesting that all those panels are like individual. It's quite a nice, uh, nice little touch. Interesting. So do that, do that. We can bounce up to there. We're probably checking out what's going on over here. I don't know what that's for, though. Why would I want that? Unless I want to, like, loop the gel. For some reason. Possibly. Uh, I haven't played them in VR, though. No, I haven't played them in VR, Sonny. I, I, I can't freaking afford VR. Um, uh, what do I do here? What's this telling me to fling, but fling to where? I mean, I can do something like this. So I need some gel here, probably. Deathwish played. Uh, Deathwish has played the room as well. So that gets me up to there. Maybe I need to loop it and get it all the way over to there? You'd watch Death Wish in VR. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, Sonny. I mean, sure. <laughs> You 
You really are slow. The exit was right there. Oh well. Looks like you can use the cardio. Okay. So, I haven't done anything wrong. Yet. We just needed some speed gel. And now that makes loads of sense. Because now we can probably do... This and this. Right, but maybe I've messed up by getting rid of the bounce gel there. Or not getting bounce gel there, should I say. So, let's do that. Deathwish, can you do the honours, please, buddy? On that, um... On that bot. Sivu play. Okay, there we go. Probably gonna want the cube. Let's not go that way. Let's not go that way. That would be crazy stupid. A bit like that, really. Do is I'll put one on the other side instead. Wow. Uh -oh. Uh that wasn't meant to happen. You really should finish Talos Principle. I agree. And then you should finish all the DLC that comes with it. Okay. <laughs> ah, Deathwish with the old. You just don't see those anymore. You just don't see that terminology these days, do you? The only ones I think you really need to play are, um, what did that do? Ah, oh, okay, that gives us that, so I could probably just fling over there, right? Straight to the exit. I would say the only ones to, to play really are Talos and then the Road to Kahina. Um, if you're going to play Road to Kahina, be ready though for a lot, a lot of reading. I think there's more reading in the game than there is actual gameplay. That's one thing I was probably critical about on Road to Kahina. Well, the puzzles were great. I mean, I would sit here and do like a, a three, three and a half hour stream when I was playing Road to Kahina. And I think probably two hours of that were probably just reading the information. I mean, you don't have to go through and you don't have to read all the information and the story and everything, but then you kind of miss out on like 50 to 75% of what the DLC is all about. So. I just got a notification that you have an email. You probably should go check your computer. Um, yeah, I think there is encoding in Road to Kahina. Um, but I think I'm sure there is in the main game as well. Ha ha, you should have seen the look on your face. It was like this glimmer of hope that oh, Mikey, my yellow belly Can brother from another know? mother. How's it going? Thank you very much for the host, you absolute legend. How's it going towards the, in the capital of the county? I'm sure that's where you are. 
Boston's doing good at the minute. We got some we got some gypsy travelers in our Central chamber. Park tearing up everything. It's great. It's great. Everything. <laughs> Just kidding. I love cleaning chambers. Have a nice test. I will. Thank you very much for your concern. Crazy Attack, thank you very much for the host. Legend. Okay. You, I, so, so what you're saying is, Mike, it's all your fault. Megist! Thank you very much for the host. We got ourselves a host train. Yeehaw! He was like, Be gone with you! Go to Boston! Okay, it gives me more. And that gives me that. Now, if I remember rightly, which I probably don't. I have to let's say I have played these these before. I'm, I'm pretty sure that doesn't give me enough, does it? Mate, we should do. I I'm, I will happily do a skeg a skeg Vegas a skeg Vegas a skeg Vegas meet up, man. I love a bit. I love me a bit of skeggy Vegas. Hmm, that is curious. One moment. Let me make a few last minute adjustments here. Whoops. Okay. So it seems that is completely broken. Lesson learned. Don't make changes live. You just weigh too much to make that jump. There might be a way. Let me bring it up. Oh wow. That was um That was a proper portal push. Three point seven percent chance that you'll be eviscerated. I've also managed to redirect most geothermic activity back to nineteen oh six. So theoretically you should be fine. So I can't do that because of that. Um Oh. Okay. World Portal shenanigans. Everything goes back in time apart from the cube. The cube remains the same. The cube. I was only in Skeggy Vegas uh, a few weeks ago, actually, Mikey. I love my. I love me a trip down Skeggy Vegas. Had some chips on the beach, and everything was just pucker. Now, I seem to remember, because like I said, I have played this before, years ago. I seem to remember this has something to do with a potential easter egg. I could just be chatting completely not a bull, but... Shall we see? So, for anybody that doesn't know, Skegness is a seaside town in the county where me and Mikey live. And um, everybody, just, basically everybody knows it as Skeg Vegas. So, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. I'll just exit criteria stuff, I think it is. I really want to go to New York. It's on one of my. New York is one of my uh, American 
bucket list kind of places. Two cubes here to direct this over here, possibly. Sure, why not? Should have probably gone in from the top, though. Interesting. Okay, so that's for the exit. Should probably go and do that other puzzle thing first though, right? So I'm guessing there's more cubes I should probably unlock first. To be fair, I'm smeltering any sort of pause throwing me off. Remind me why I played this game again? That didn't feel like I should have been able to do that, but... Hey, I'm not going to argue, not going to complain. Alright, Crazy Tech, thanks a lot for hanging out. Hanging, hanging out. Or hanging out, even. Yeah, appreciate it. Well, good evening. Catch you later. Let's see what we've got over here. Probably more cubes. Here's a thing I can do, because I have an abundance of cubes. Yeah, we don't need to overcomplicate it. Which is pretty rich coming from me of all people, but yeah, we don't need to overcomplicate this. Um, okay, so I suppose we should probably take these over to there and do that thing with the square thing. I can't remember exactly what it was I need to do with the square thing, but we'll do it anyway. Um, yeah. Did that. Go into here. Go across to there. I don't know what this will do. If I'm honest. And I can't remember what portal was where. I want to shut that one last so that by. Yep, estimation is actually that. Oh, don't tease me, Mika. Choo 
Excuse me, that Pepsi Max. I normally have my wife's cast offs when it's like stream time. What did that do? Maybe that's just telling me that that's open. But I need that and that. So, I think I need to do this. So that's going to have to come through there last. And then I can shoot that to there. Ah, oh, whites and lemonade. Fumbly! What's going on? Hanky, what's going on? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's from uh, this one's from Top Hat Waffles, um, Fumbly. So um, it's not just your average tripe, for lack of a better term. Oh, I do have another cube. Well, that simplifies matters greatly, doesn't it? Thumbby 2007, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Appreciate it, thank you very much. So yeah, I think the end goal is to have that and aim that over to there to do that, so... It's just one of those puzzles where there's just far too many cubes to what we actually want to do. I feel, but having said that, I am using them all. If, 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 what, if, if what I think is correct, if I can actually learn to speak properly, I think I'm going to angle this. Like that. Don't start saying your birth years, that makes me feel really old. You makes me feel depressed. <laughs> because I'm so old. Alright, I'm. Please. Thank you. Do you realise in 1998 I'd already finished junior school and I was in my second slash third year of big school? <laughs> okay, maybe not that old. That's just that's that's just going a bit too far. But. Uh, Oh, they're the best, Fumbly. They are the best. Alright, so then, now we've done that, we are done with all this, actually. We don't need square for anything else, I don't believe. So then we need a cube on there, take the lasers through, back through the world portal, and that will put that down, and we should be all good to go. Take all of these back out of here. Twenty forty. Man, you seriously you seriously need to work on your maths iron smeltery. Just saying. 
Alright, so one of these cubes we need to go over to here. No. Knock no. Let's open the exit. And then with the other cubes. Uh, one, two, to bring that down. I think I've got one cube too many here, but... Uh, also, that was the wrong thing to do. Death wish with the host. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Cube says no. And what's going on with that? What's going on with that? Oh, we 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 broke it, boys and girls. We we proper broke it. We've lost the cube between worlds. Well, luckily, I think. My calculations are correct. We actually had one too many cubes, so <laughs> that could be our saving grace. No, we need another cube. Uh, we did need that cube. We did. Oh, that's probably why it was doing that. That's probably what. Ah, okay. I got it. That's why it's doing that. Is this the area you were telling me to try and get into? Uh, I'm smelting because I'm looking at these no cl these no draw textures. I'm pretty sure you're not meant to get into here. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. There's our missing cube. Look, it was right there. It's there. There it is. We got it. I, I don't know what happened, but we got it. Great, okay. <laughs> Jeez. And then we do this. Go on a super epic mega fling and to the exit. Nothing like a world portal to confuse situations, right? Alright, so we should only need to find one more key to reset our pin and then we can escape yeah I think if I had to like critique that puzzle I think there was far too many the last key contains the authorization code I would have been done two hours and I think there was two like one two one too many there was just a few too many cubes in that puzzle too many elements. All right. I can't eat anything. And I totally didn't listen to a word the AI was saying, so I have no idea what that waffling on was all about. A few too many cubes. Don't question my English. How dare you? You'll find the last key somewhere in here. Try okay. not to die in the process. You'd think that would be common sense, but you seem like someone who needs to be reminded of that sort of thing. Goodness knows I have to constantly remind our CEO about it. This looks like it's not going to be fun. The minute you see turrets... The minute the fun stops. <laughs> I won't worry about it, Hanky. I question my English most days. Alright, we need to go this way first because we need to get a.
We need to get a cube. Um, I have a hunch, though, that's not what we was meant to do. Also, why did the cube start there, but then the droppers over there? We need the funnel. Okay, we need the funnel. Let's go and bring the funnel down to this area. Maybe. It likes to push, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. Let's try up there. Okay, give me the funnel. And uh, now I have the funnel. I guess I can funnel some gel. I mean, why don't we just put some over here as well, right? What's the worst that could happen? Alright, so now we have that. We should be able to jump up here, grab the cube. And that's step one. Why did I... Why did I press no clip? Instead of freaking control to stop bouncing on the gel. Because me, the stupid. Play portal brought to you by knock. Okay, save. I just funnel across here? I guess I can. That will suffice. Okay, not really sure. Just felt a little lame, if I'm honest. And swap the cubes, the edgeless cubes, I add. And then we can go back, grab the funnel again, respawn that cube. Yeah, I know, it's it's this newfangled, um, it's this newfangled thing, Hanky, that I've actually heard of just recently. Um, seems like all the cool kids are throwing it into the puzzles right now, so, um, yeah, I think, I think it's catching on. I think it's catching on. Alright, now, question is, do we need to go get that cube? I mean, I would assume yes, the answer would be. I tell you what all the really cool kids are doing. They're doing cube swaps in Celeste maps. That's all the cool kids are doing, Hanky. Just just saying. Okay, so we got um, X and Triangle, which swaps the funnel. 
Um, I mean, to me, this is death, but... Problem is, I don't see... I think this is death, but let's kill ourselves anyway. Okay. That was good. That was good. I tell you what we need. We need the we need the Portal 2 Celeste mod. We've played the Celeste mod for Portal 2, but now we need the Portal 2 mod in Celeste. That's what we need. I'm telling you. The signage looks a little weird. So we need to get gel up here. And there's things and stuff that's gonna happen here. I guess that's going to reveal a panel. Huh. I don't know if I'm, like, getting ahead of myself here by doing this. Yeah, we'll put Challenge Celeste. Sure. Alright, so the only way back from here would be to... Do something like that, put that there for safekeeping, and then go back over here. And there is a surface I could see up there. So, it seems to indicate that we need to take the gel across there, but we're going to need to reverse the funnel in order to do that, so I don't see that we can do anything else down here, so that does only leave us with going across here and I would just like to say those turrets are vicious I mean, sure, we can do that. Doesn't really seem to do a lot, though, does it? Let's be honest. Unless we had... Okay, I think I see what I need to do. I think I see what I need to do. So. Um, first, foremost, I need to take that out of there. Because this is going to be an area for something else for the time being. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me. Well, now I've seen it all. <sighs> now I have seen it all. So, if that's all gone to plan... Excellent! Now, that's in there. I now need to take this back.
And put this here. Oh, you... He was a bit enthusiastic, wasn't he? Let's let's be honest. I was like, "Hey, Mr. Cube, do you wanna do you wanna, do you wanna come and play?" And he was like, "Oh, I'm all gone. I ain't got time for that." <laughs> all right, take two of Operation Get Cube Jizzed. Now I have seen a little flaw with this doing it this time because I haven't preset my portal. Yep, yeah, that, that, that's the thing we did. Uh, that's the thing we did. Okay. Oh, the skill. The, the not skill. No! Get back here. Get back here. I'm gonna save. I don't wanna lose this cube. Alright. I, I lost it, didn't I? with the sphere is cursed. Okay. Save. I wonder, actually, am I... The answer is probably, but... Guess not. Are you are you kidding? So it wouldn't go through the gap. Then when I turn the funnel off, it goes through the gap. Well played, game. Well played. You played me like a kipper. So, how do we do this? How, how do we propose we do this? Um, we do that and hope for the best. Be free, my child. Be free. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Now we can do things and stuff and stuff and things. Also, is there a little... No, I don't think there is. I thought there was like a little, there was like a little secret or something in there, but I don't think there was. All right, we got the last reset key.
we press the button. What did the button do? Did I miss what it did? There is an option to do it? Okay, interesting. Didn't know that, Sonny. I did not know that. Okay, so then we're going to go and... Let's get a cube back. I thought I was being a flit there before and not being able to get up there, but I think it's actually the faith plate. That extra height on the faith plate there is actually stopping me from getting to where I want to go. I don't think I'm making excuses. Okay. So through here. You know earlier on I said we need to do something over there to reverse the funnel, do all that stuff. <sighs> Turns out I was wrong. Alright, well, um, that's just changed everything. Jeez, I don't know why I'm. Why did I think that? Comes the gel. Do you know, I don't actually know if that's enough. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're all right. Well, them textures are not bad. I know they're kind of on panels that flip, but that just doesn't look right. Uh, did I need... I don't think so. It's alright, don't worry guys, I'll finish my own sentence. The thing is though with those, like, the, the cube buttons, I don't see the point in a sphere activating them. May as well just be like a regular standard weighted button if you're going to have the... If it's going to ever. activate so it. To speed things up a bit by mixing your oxygen with neurotoxin. I even made it smell like strawberries, just for you. Okay. Oh. I mean, I guess I could do... I guess I could do this. Or not. Or not. Everyone is almost done with lunch, and you're taking forever. So I'm going to speed things up a bit by mixing your oxygen with neurotoxin. I even made it smell like strawberries, just for you. Um... I guess I could just do... This.
And then... Just do this. You're officially the first person to do this. Are okay. you sure you don't want to go for a swim? No. Fine. Go back to the lobby and reset the ping. Don't really know why they needed to put that bit on a time limit, but I hope. Go over and put in that last key. It should give you the authorization code. Then you just have to enter it over on that wall. With all the keys in, you have both numbers. You'll need to XOR the two values together and input them into the reset panel. For some extra security, we use a binary input for the reset. So I hope you know how to read binary. If not, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Okay. Exclusive or is um it's one or the other but not both, isn't it? Right? So how How do you, how do you XOR two together though? What? I don't. At the risk of sounding and looking dumb, I don't understand. You haven't just been on Google, have you? <laughs> uh, XOR is digital logic that gives true output when the number of a true input is odd. Exclusive or that is a true output results if one and only one of the inputs at the gate is true. Yeah, if both inputs, then they're false. Yeah, that's what I said, right? So, should we just push levers and see what happens? Yeah, I would assume so, Fumbly. I can't quite remember. But um, because I have a terrible, terrible, terrible short-term memory, I've already forgotten what the numbers were. I need my pen and paper. See, that? I, I, I claim all the time that I have a terrible short-term memory. That's just how bad my freaking short-term memory is. Like, seriously. You've got a pen and paper all the time. Well, that's not right. Do you want to explain to me how you get 863? 
Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What numbers do they bought? Two fifty six, five twelve. Okay. Whilst I oh, hold on, it's backwards. It's backwards to what I expect. Okay, I was, I th always thought. I'm sure when I've when I've done binary before, it's left to right, not right to left. I'm sorry, I'm I'm thinking about it right. I've always gone one, two, four, eight, but they're doing one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, hundred twenty-eight. No, because I start with zero. So zero is a sort of one. So that's one. That's it. Ha. Huh. Okay. Well. I don't just want. I, I, okay. So whilst that might be the answer, I don't just appreciate say somebody saying the answer is this. I much prefer an explanation of how you've got to that answer rather than just going on Google. I don't remember how to... All right, let me, let me, let, this is what we're trying to do, Megas. It's, we're trying to, we're trying to, I, I think that th th they said, I mean, I'd have to go back and check, but they the exclusive or of these two numbers, right? I know what you're saying. But how do you get 863 from the two numbers? That's my point. I know how to do the switches and make that number. I just don't understand where you've got 863 from. That's that's my point. I mean, sure. I mean, I could just try and do. And can I make 200 anywhere? 100, uh, 128 plus 64 is that. And then I need another 8. 16, 8. No, wrong one. I mean, sure, I can make that number. Convert both to binary. Okay, okay, Sonny. I think I think I think I understand now what Sonny's saying. So if I do this, this and this and this 
and then write down the binary for this, which is zero. Let's write right to left zero 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 one zero zero one one zero one. Right, and then I make 407, so we can't use 512, it'll be 256. Seems like I'm not able to turn this one off. There we go. Uh, 407, so we need a 3, so we're going to need that and that, and four oh seven. Four oh seven, thirteen, three. 13, 23 I need. Uh, so it should just be 4, 16, 3. There we go. So that gives me 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Zero one one zero one one one. So then what what I'm saying is so then what we're saying if we're exclusively oring this, if I'm right, now I think I might understand what I'm doing, is then I only want to flip the ones where it's active on one of the screens and not the others. Or one of the numbers and not the others. So I'll do that one. That one, not that one. That one, not that one. That one, then the rest of them. 863. Is that really? It is. That's his airport luggage code. There is one last step to this. There's a terminal on the roof where you'll find instructions. I can't function outside, so you'll have to do it alone. Try not to trip on the stairs and die on your way up. I know you. I know you said I oh, smell tree, but my the whole point was just shouting out the answer is never helpful. It's a lot more helpful if you can actually explain to somebody how you got to that answer instead of just saying Google says this. But. Yeah, no, it totally makes sense now thinking back at it. Um, thanks, Megist, as well. Um, and thanks, Megist. Thanks, Sonny, for everybody who had input on that. Um, actually, converting the number to binary first makes a lot of sense. At least I knew what an XOR gate was, right? What is this, Stanley Parable? When Stanley got to the junction... He took the left path. Stanley wasn't very good at following instructions. Instead, he tried to open a door that wasn't unlocked. Hmm. It's okay if you understand by I mean, the game does give you the option, though, just for the computer to do it for you. So you don't actually have to work it out, but I guess you get a different ending. Thanks for using my pin. I was able to order three shirts, ten business cards, take a nap, and build a house of cards. What a productive day. You've shown me that you can handle yourself. If you think you have what it takes to join the team, fill out the application form below. Wow. Go straight to my ISPs. We cannot find that page. <laughs> well, there we go. That is Weeby Data. Um, I have a feeling last time when I played this, I might have skipped that last puzzle. Definitely a lot less... Um, 
painful though. I remember the, the turret room especially was a, an absolute nightmare when I played this before. Fixed edition by Erend. Um, see if what if I then what if I go back then, and we get the computer to do it? What's the different ending? I wonder. There was a way to do. I think. No, I, did they say to? There was a way for, to get the computer to do it for you. you don't know how to do this? Fine, let me do it. You still have to input that value in binary. I do it, but I don't know how. You would think that I would know that sort of thing. One thousand and one in binary. That's a different number. Um, let's think 512 doubled would be 1,024. So we need 23 less. So it should just be. Right? Is that really? It is. That's his airport luggage code. There is one last step to this. There's a terminal on the roof where you'll find instructions. I can't function outside, so you'll have to do it alone. Try not to trip on the stairs and die on your way up. I wonder if I can put that in. I wonder if I can put that in without activating like that trigger. I wonder. Also, I didn't really look around here too much before, but there's just cubes. And we're marooned off a small island in an endless sea. Strapped to a tiny spit of span. Spit, 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 spit. I can't even say it. Spick of sand. Uh, looks like you get the same ending, though. Looks like you get the same ending. But yeah, that's interesting. Why wouldn't it say the same as the correct answer? But interestingly though, I mean, can I go up to a thousand on this? Yeah, I can. I can. Is that really it? Okay, well That's you can put that one in as well. There is one last step to this. There's a terminal on the roof hmm. where you'll find instructions. I can't function outside. So you'll have to do it alone. Try not to trip on the stairs and die on your way up. That's interesting. I suppose it's just a trigger though to tell you what to put in. I, I, but yeah, like 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 you guys have said, I don't really know. Try a new game with the code. Right, well, I can do that. What do you mean, almost the same backwards, Sonny? What are you talking about, fool? Yes, I agree.
No, it seems like that doesn't work. You can't just put the code in. Now, I have a hunch that it loads a different map. I, th I think the final map must be different. And the reason I say that is because when I first started playing, I took that cube out of that room and I did notice um, right at the end that the cube was back in there. So, yeah, I can only assume it's a, it's a different map. We're still marooned on a small island in an endless sea. But... Yes. So I assume the logic for that is only in the very final map. Maybe I'll try boobies, right? Everybody everybody loves to type boobies in a calculator. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, that's... There we go. There is Weeby Data all done and dusted. Um... Yeah, pretty good map. Let's start that again. A pretty good um, mod. Uh, nicely put together. But like I said at the beginning, Top Hat Waffles is renowned for the um, hammer tutorials and, and different bits and pieces. <sighs> try 863 in this map. All right, we'll try We'll try it real quick. We'll try quick. We'll try it. We'll try it. Uh, let me reset everything. Uh, one more, that one, and then nope, there be nothing, guys, nothing at all. So yeah, debunking myths with knock. Anyway, guys. That's pretty much the end of Weeby Data. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate the support. We'll be back real soon with yet another mod, if I can actually get some to work. Um, but until then, guys, thank you very much. I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Bye-bye.